Hello folks, this is Tony Drake with Drake & Associates with an April 2016 Educational Economic Update. In this video, we'll talk about some of the economic events that influenced markets in the last month and give you some insight into what they can mean for you as an investor. Please stay tuned at the end for a required disclosure statement. After several rocky months for financial markets, March turned out several straight weeks of gains, giving investors hope for the spring. Let's talk about what happened. After months of strength, the U.S. dollar weakened against other currencies. A strong dollar makes domestic goods more expensive to foreign buyers, which has hurt corporate profits. A comparatively weak dollar will help make U.S. products more competitive on a global market, which we hope will be reflected in international demand for our goods. Last month was also important for central bank policies. The European Central Bank, Bank of Japan, and the Federal Reserve all held meetings to determine monetary policy. In recent years, there has been a divide between the Fed, which is moving away from ultra-low rates, and European and Japanese central banks, which are fighting slow economies and negative rates and quantitative easing. However, discussions at the March Fed meeting show that the U.S. economists are also becoming more concerned about growth. During the March meeting, the Fed voted to hold rates steady and indicated that officials are planning for a slower pace of rate hikes this year. Remarks after the meeting show that the Fed economists are divided. Some officials want to start raising rates soon, while others favor a wait-and-see approach. However, Fed Chair Janet Yellen has been clear about her intention to remain cautious in the face of global risks. We also got some good economic news last month. The final estimate of fourth quarter economic growth showed that the GDP grew an annual rate of 1.4% instead of 1%. Much of the improvement came from stronger-than-expected consumer spending, which is great news for the economy. The labor market continued to add jobs in March, which supports further spending. On the other hand, the increased spending at the end of 2015 may have come at the expense of growth in the first quarter of 2016. Consumer spending data from January was revised lower, causing quarter one GDP forecast to plummet. Looking ahead, we'll be awaiting reports from the first quarter that ended in March to see whether the number supports or weakens concerns about growth this year. We're not the only ones who'll be closely monitoring data. We know that the Fed will be watching ahead of this April meeting to see whether the economy can support additional rate increases. Will they raise rates in April? It's hard to say, but it's not likely. Currently, most economists predict a June 2016 interest rate hike, but there's always room for a surprise if the data looks good. That's it for April Educational Economic Update. As always, if you have questions or concerns about what we've discussed, please give our office a call. Here are some of the upcoming events that we'd like you to know about. Social Security classes at Carroll University on April 26th and 27th, and a Retirement Ready Workshop in our Waukesha office on April 20th. Retirement planning today on May 12th and 19th at Concordia University. Visit WealthWisconsin.com to learn more, and be sure to listen to our Retirement Ready Radio Show on AM620 WTMJ, Saturdays at 1 o'clock. Once again, this is Tony Drake with Drake & Associates signing off for the month of April 2016. Please remember that nothing we talk about here is a recommendation. If you'd like to discuss your personal financial situation, please give us a call at 414-409-7226. While we believe the information in this report is reliable, we cannot guarantee its accuracy. Opinions are subject to change without notice and are not intended as investment advice or solicitation for the purchase or sale of any security. Please consult your financial professional before making any investment decision. Investment advisory services are provided by Drake & Associates, LLC, a state of Wisconsin registered investment advisor. Insurance products are offered through a separate company, Law Financial Advisory Group, LLC, a Wisconsin insurance agency. Clients are under no obligation to purchase any recommended insurance products.